Battles running to represent Area 3, which covers schools here in Bakersfield all the way to Kernville, have student safety at top of mind and both share a background in human services. The students belong to the parents and not the schools, so the parents should have the ultimate choice of what happens to their students in schools. In her 28 years representing Area 3 for the County Board of Education, Mary Little says it is in the past couple of years that these themes of parent rights have taken center stage. And although her role is limited on that end, she points at her experience and what she's been able to accomplish for why she should continue in this position. As a current board member, she has used her power to implement things like flag salutes by K Kids and approving the first ever local charter school, although she knows oversight is needed at charters. You can have some charter schools that veer off course, um, and the Kern County Superintendent of Schools does provide a great foundation and oversight for the charter schools to operate efficiently. Meanwhile, Kern native Dina Murphy just retired as director of the Kern County Department of Human Services and says she thinks fresh ideas should be encouraged, saying no one should stay on the board for too long. And she too is focusing on parent rights and charter schools. I'm in favor of charter schools and looking at independent learning and any other way that we can support parents in their choice for what they would like to do with their children. In terms of expulsion, Mary Little has had experience. It's a tough situation because we are there for at-risk students and we are making life decisions for that student and often we do side with the student as we want that child to succeed. Smith says transparency with parents and guardians is essential when dealing with punishment. Parents, teachers, the child themselves get the opportunity to share their perspective on what happened and why it happened and there to be a fair and balanced um, body in the background listening to make a determination because you can change a child's entire future you know for the better or not and uh, that is powerful. Another issue both candidates are working to address is parent concerns over the growing use of fentanyl among students following a rash of overdoses at local high schools and a middle schooler arrested for having 150 pills of the drug on campus. And we will continue to bring you updates on all the local school board races as we approach that November 8 election. In the meantime, all the profiles for the other candidates we have brought you are up on our website, turn223.com. In Bakersfield, Vonnie Patino, 23 ABC News, connecting you.